Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for another donation unboxing video. I'm going to open all the stuff I received in the P.O. box for the month of July 2020. Uh, it's coming a little late this month because I've been very busy with Cobra Convergence, but I'm excited to see what you guys sent me. Um, if you would like to donate something to the channel, I will put the P.O. box on the screen right now. I want to remind everyone, you should not send anything to me unless you really want to you should never feel obligated to donate anything to the show I am happy just having you here and having you, you watch the videos um, if you do choose to send something to me I will open it in a video like this one um, if I get uh, anything in the P.O. box uh, in the month of August, then next month we'll do another one of these videos. But if not, then we won't do an, uh, an unboxing video, and that'll be just fine too. So thank you to everyone who sent something that was received in July. Um, I think I've already got some stuff for August, but if I got it after you know, uh, July 31st, it'll go in the video for August. So thank you to everyone. As you can see, I have a really big box here. I'm going to open this one last. I'm going to go through these first. Uh, we've got some letters here. Uh, we've got at least one thing. I, I know what it is, uh, and I want to thank everyone for sending these. So let's go ahead and, um, and open these up. I've already cut everything open to make it easier to pull out, but I've not looked in any of these to see what we got. So uh, I will be surprised and so will you. Let's get started. All right, let's open this one first. This is from Brandon Knight. Uh, it looks like a card. So let's slide that open. And ah, it is a card. Um, it's uh, This is a very nice uh, mountain view. It says, uh, Dear ACC, five years of events that we love coming together for is Cobra Convergence 5. Yes, we are right in the middle of it. Let's enjoy this time as we show our love for Cobra. I can't wait to see all the fun stuff each creator will bring. Thank you for doing this and bringing us along and together during these hard times. I am proud of you and I am proud of to be part of this great community. Well, thank you very much. I'm proud to have you in this community. Um, even if we live far away, I feel we have some great friends. I agree with that. We have both been through many uh, uh, many things. Some doors have closed. Many uh, doors are waiting to open. Let the adventures continue. Your pal, Brandon Knight, a.k.a. Night Viper. Thank you very much, Brandon. That was a really nice sentiment, and uh, Brandon just uh, summarizes what's really important about this project. Uh, and I've enjoyed looking at toys, and I've enjoyed exploring G.I. Joe again, the thing that I had so much fun with as a kid, but what has... Um, really stuck with me and what will last uh, is the the friendships that we've made uh, I've become some for some of you I've been I've become close friends um, I've got to meet a lot of you in person and uh, so uh, thank you for that and um, yeah we will continue the adventure next one is uh, now this is from Northumberland um, and I think I know who this is because I think we've received some letters from this friend before um, yes, I recognize the handwriting. Uh, this is, um, yes, Gary Watson. Hello, Gary, and thank you for writing again. Uh, this one I'll definitely need my glasses for. I'll take a quick uh, read through this just to make sure there's nothing too personal in it, uh, and then I will um, let you know what uh, Gary has written. Okay, Gary shares some uh, thoughts and uh, G.I. Joe uh, slash Action Force uh, memories, including a UK and Europe Action Force Palatoy exclusive action pack um, that included a Cobra Claw, a Cobra Trooper, uh, Ripcord and Duke version 1. Uh, that sounds like a pretty cool action pack. Uh, of course, we did not get that in the States, um, but I would have been thrilled to get that in the States. I would have loved to have all of those things in one package. That would have been great. Um, but, uh, yeah, and he gets some amusement about uh, my Cobra Ice Snake review where I had the Ice Snake uh, uh, knockover um, Spider-Man, uh, that was, um, th that was fun. I, I just have that Spider-Man figure handy, and, uh, occasionally I'll just grab it and throw it into something. 
Um, but uh, mainly he shares lots of memories. Uh, he's got some thoughts about uh, about G.I. Joe Extreme. Um, and uh, he's got... Um, uh, oh, and a list of uh, G.I. Joe figures and vehicles he wished he had got. Um, and... Yeah, you know, uh, I got some of these that are on your list, but like I, as a kid, I did not have the, um, I didn't have the Conquest X30, but a friend had it, so I got to play with it a lot. Uh, I don't believe I had Pathfinder, um, but I think I had most of these. So see, if if we were friends as kids, you could have played with mine. That's that's how um, my friends always used to do it. So, um, yeah, you'd bring your toys over, and we'd have a big battle, and we would just all, sh we'd all play with whatever we wanted to play to with. We didn't really care, uh, you know, who it belonged to. Um, we did care, you know, about taking our own stuff back to our house, but, you know, when we were playing, you know, it, we needed the whole G.I. Joe team versus the whole Cobra team. So, you know, if somebody's going to get... Um, selfish about playing with a, a particular toy then uh, th then you're gonna have a problem cooperating and having a really cool fun battle so uh, thank you for that Gary I, I am keeping all of this just as I will keep um, Brandon's uh, card every letter that's written to me I keep every single one of them uh, I have a, a special uh, letter carrier for these so if you write something to me I'm not throwing these away. Um, these I hope to keep even after, you know, maybe my collection isn't with me anymore someday in the future. Uh, at, when I'm an old man in a nursing home, I still will have these and I'll still be able to look back on them and read them. So thank you to everyone who writes me a letter. Okay, next up is uh, T. Kyle Bennett. Um, for, I don't usually say where people are from. I won't give away your uh, full address, but it does say Fort Polk, Louisiana. My dad said he uh, had uh, Army basic training in Fort Polk, so uh, that's where I know Fort Polk, Louisiana from. So, uh, T. Kyle Bennett, let's see what we got in here. It looks like uh, there is, oh, there is a letter and uh, something else. I don't know what it is yet, but let's see what we got. Uh, it says, I uh, just wanted to send you something from me and my uh, platoon. Oh, cool. Um, challenge um, coin and sticker. Awesome. Second platoon, dog troop, 1st battalion, 509th parachute infantry regiment. My gift is not Joe related, but G.I. Joe has a huge influence on me. Um, was a huge influence on me becoming um, an army paratrooper. Uh, ripcord and airborne were my favorites as a kid. Um well done sir well done I have to say um, just wanted to send you a big thank you uh, from my son uh, Vincent and I for helping me pass along our love for G.I. Joe to him uh, thanks again T. Kyle Bennett P.S. Yo Joe Geronimo all the way um, look up uh, one, one, uh, 509th PIR in Wikipedia uh, for unit history I will look that up sir I will look that up that is awesome. I'm really excited. I want to see what this is. Oh, look at that. Wolverines, 2nd Platoon D Troop, uh, 1509th Parachute Infantry. All right, yeah, um, I don't have my handy uh, remote to zoom, but uh, that is amazing. That is so cool. Uh, this, I have to put this someplace uh, to display. That is about the coolest thing ever. And uh, I'll look at this. Oh, I gotta see this. I didn't leave anything in there, right? I I got busted a couple of th times for not checking the envelopes thoroughly enough, and I left stuff in there that I didn't get on camera. Sorry about that. I'm trying to be more careful about that. Um, but uh, Mr. T. Kyle Bennett, this is oh, it's like it's like heavy. It, that is. Ah, uh, that's so awesome. Wolverines, you know? When I was a kid and we, you know, weren't really uh, playing with G.I. Joe for G.I. Joe because it had kind of gotten in a, in a weird direction. 
uh, we started customizing and we made our own team sort of like G.I. Joe and we called it the Wolverines. Uh, and of course, the, our Wolverines were named after the Wolverines from the movie Red Dawn. But this just reminds me, it, almost, it takes me right back to that time when we, we felt we were being very creative because we figured out that we could uh, take the screws out of the backs of the figures and swap the parts around and make our own guys. Uh, so that's what makes th this makes me think of. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Bennett. Uh, I can't thank you enough for that. That is awesome. Uh, thank you for your service, uh, and thank you for this. This is special to me. I'm not only keeping the sticker and the challenge coin thing, I'm also keeping the letter uh, with my others, uh, and that is something that I will look forward to rereading someday in the future to remember uh, these amazing times that we had during this journey. Let's now turn to um, Christopher Hilt from Ogden, Utah. Uh, Christopher, uh, this feels like a book, so I'm going to open it, and it says, please read first. Okay, I will read first. It says, Dear HCC788, that's me. Uh, greetings, I hope this letter finds you well. It does, thank you. I know life seems like it uh, kicks you sometimes, so I thought I'd send uh, you some cheer. Enclosed is my first novel, Gray Fury, Sunset Blue. You may show it in your videos if you wish to. The book is my tribute to G.I. Joe. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy it sincerely. Christopher Hilt, P.S. on YouTube, um, uh, Simbad102. Okay, uh, that is, this is something you created. This is your first novel. That is so cool. You, you, I have a great respect for people who create, for people who um, make the effort to put something new into the world. And here it is in tangible form, your story. And of course I'm going to read it. Gray Fury, Sunset Blue. Uh, yeah, this is so cool. Uh, Christopher, um, you've given me more to read. Um, I, I will save this letter with the others, and uh, when I have a moment to um, sit down and uh, read something for fun, I'm going to give this a try. Uh, thank you, Christopher. Uh, really awesome that you made this, and uh, very awesome that you sent it to me. This next one is from Brandon Payne, and I know what it is. Um, I just hadn't had a chance to open it yet because um, he, he, he told me what he was sending to me. This is a comic book. Brandon Payne, by the way, uh, painted plastic on YouTube. Uh, he is in Cobra Convergence this year, so uh, check his channel out. Um, and this is um, the IDW G.I. Joe uh, Complete Silence. Uh, comic book, and let me open this up, let me set this aside, um, Hama, Lealoha, Russos, and Dale, and I believe it, um, Jeremy Dale, uh, the artist that recently passed away, uh, quite suddenly, um, and, uh, this is something that, uh, I've been urged to look at, what I, what I believe this is, uh, is it has a reprint of the original uh, G.I. Joe Real American Hero issue number 21, the famous silent issue. Uh, but then it has, um, yeah, Silence Between Borders, which is a story that essentially takes place um, sort of in between the panels of the silent issue, and it is also uh, it is also without dialogue, um, and yeah, that, I, I'm not gonna like it would, it would be pointless for me to read it to you because it doesn't have dialogue. But I'm not going to um, describe every page. But this is something that uh, I want to actually sit down and absorb and enjoy the, the quality of it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, these are nice 
um, thick pages. And uh, yeah, Jeremy Dale, artwork by Jeremy Dale on, uh, it's called issue 21.5. It's sort of like in between the pages and panels of uh, issue 21. So a, a cool idea, and I'm looking forward to checking this out. So thank you very much for this, Brandon. Next we have this from Matt uh, Blackledge from, um, from Canada. From Canada. So let's see what we got from uh, the land up north. Uh, we have a letter that written in large enough font that I can read it without my glasses. Uh, thanks for recognizing that I'm getting old. I appreciate that. I don't always like the reminder that I'm getting old, but sometimes it, the, you just you can make some things a little easier. Um, and I, well, I'm seeing something in here that is cool right off the bat, but I'm gonna read the letter first. I'm reading the letter first. It says, uh, July 21st, 2020, to Hooded Cobra Commander 788. That's me. Hi, I am Matt. Um, it is uh, okay to say my name. Big fan of the channel and say hi to uh, the other one you have. Oh yes, um, and included is Burger King Black and Red Cobra Commander from Valor vs. Venom. Interesting. I haven't gotten a whole lot of Valor vs. Venom, so that is kind of a new area, an unexplored area for me. Um, and before I uh, finish reading this, uh, before I read this out loud, I want to finish reading it really quick uh, so it doesn't give away any of the surprise of what's in the box. Let me read this really quick. Okay, I've read this letter from Matt, uh, and I won't read all of it out loud because he's, he tells what's in the box, and I want that to be a surprise for you. But Matt, I did read the letter. Uh, it's really good to hear from you. Thank you very much. And now I'm excited to show everyone uh, what you described in this letter. So thank you for sending this to me very, very much. Um, first of all, we have some cards. Um, and this is different. Um, I. I uh, I now have a complete set of those uh, um, the GI Joe cards that I had been, you know, getting packs of and opening. Uh, but this is a different card set. This is oh, this is like a, a game card or a card game set. Now that's intriguing. So sort of like a you know a card game like Magic the Gathering or a, um, Cards Against Humanity. Well, not a Cards Against Humanity, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm not familiar with this. I need to learn more about this. This is so you've given me something to learn more about. Thank you very much. That uh, I'm always happy uh, to have things that give me an opportunity to learn. Now, check this stuff out. We've got, we've got that is uh, looks like a Cobra Trooper and a Cobra Commander and another Cobra Commander. Um, these uh, some modern figures that are. Uh, so uh, cool this now this I, I think if I uh, understood you correctly I think this one was a Burger King um, exclusive if I got that wrong I apologize but I think that's what you wrote in here um, you've got oh look at all this stuff oh look at these little guys you got like a little Cobra Trooper uh, and then a little um, a little leather neck. Those are adorable. I really wish I had the zoom on my camera. Just look really close at your screen. Um, oh, and a little Cobra Commander too. Oh, that's awesome. Um, th no, I love these. These little things um, I will put at my desk, at work, or I have a desk here too. I might put them here as well. Um, and we've got one of these um, Battlefield robots. Uh, I don't know. You know what? Actually, I haven't covered these at all on my channel yet. These Battlefield robots. Uh, we need to talk about those. I won't go too much into them right now because, you know what? We need to talk about them uh, in depth because these are a peculiar little thing about G.I. Joe that uh, oops, deserves to be talked about. And we've got some missiles as well. Um, I dropped one. Um, and he's, he's sent... Um, uh, a, a few other, look at that. It's a, um, it's a Cobra Law Royal Guard. Dig it. Um, decent shape too. Some good, you know, good tight joints. Good O-ring. Very nice. Um, and we've got like a figure stand. Um, Hiss Commander. 
Um, got a couple other stands that would fit, uh, looks like modern figures. We've got a gas can, another missile, and we've got an arsenal, an arsenal of weapons. So um, that is great in case I, I ever get attacked by Cobra, I will have uh, weapons and I will be armed. Um, oh, and here's a little, yes, here's a little snake eyes. Oh yeah, I'll go, and these go with that. Okay, cool. I figured it out, Matt, I figured it out. Um, and uh, that sword looks like a Shadow Ninja's sword, kind of. I'm not sure if it is, but it just kind of looks like one because it's translucent. Um, and then we have uh, the Battle Files uh, Weapons and Tech from Image Comics. Um, and I haven't seen this before, but this could be something useful to me. Uh, there's the Havoc, the Whale, the Mobat, um, the, uh, the modern Phantom X-19, Night Attack Copter, Recon Sled. Um, yes, I'm going to take a closer look at this because I'm always looking for uh, new information and just new things to share uh, about vehicles. Uh, sometimes it can even be harder to find information about vehicles than it is about figures. So uh, I'm going to, hey, and it has information about, uh, yeah, about the individual characters' weapons as well, including some actual real weapons. Now we got the Cobra side. That's, okay, that's really cool. I'm going to spend some time going through that. And now, if you're my age, you know what this is, right? This is Tales of G.I. Joe. These were essentially reprints of the original uh, issues of the comic book. And I think they did like the first 15 issues of the G.I. Joe comic book series as Tales of G.I. Joe. Um, and it was really great when you were younger because you could actually get them and read them. Um, whereas the prices for the uh, original comic books, especially if they were first print, they kind of kept going up. Um, and if you're nine or 10 years old, you can't spend a fortune on comic books. This gave you a chance for cover price $2.25 to actually read the first issue of, uh, of the G.I. Joe comic book. Uh, and this does include the second story, Hot Potato. Hot Potato is in there. so. Uh, that's awesome. I love this. This is, uh, of course, the first issue, first prints, um, is uh, an important part of G.I. Joe history, but this is too, because a lot of us read that first issue for the first time like this. So thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you for all of this. It's very much appreciated, and thank you for watching the videos. Okay, now I get to this great big box here. This is from Nicholas Gregory, and I know it's some kind of custom. That's all I know about it. So I'm just gonna open this guy up and see what it is. And I'm gonna try to make room so that I can take whatever's in here out and set it here so you can see it more easily. Let's see what Nicholas sent, and I didn't cut that all the way through. There we go. Um, whatever it is, it's well packed. Well packed, zero chance of anything being damaged in here. Uh, plenty of packing material, nicely done. Uh, let's set that over here, and then, uh, yeah, okay, all right, I get it, I get it. So it's, it's in here, whatever it is, is in here. So this has a zipper. You took a lot of uh, care to package this, so I'm trying to open it with equal care. So I'm going to take this and put it here, make sure I haven't left anything in there. Yes, really well packed, sir. I, I, I have to commend your packing job on this. Um, that could probably be run over by a, a steamroller and it would still be fine. Well done. Okay, so. Let's, um, oh, I see, I see. 
This makes sense now, because he sent me a message on uh, Patreon. Ugh. Okay. Sent me a message on Patreon. And, let's see, what were we calling this? We were calling it, like, the dog cat or something like that. No, that wasn't it. It was... Let's see. Uh, let me, uh... Oh, yeah, I can see what it is, and I want to get it out of here, but I want to be very cautious with it, because, uh... It could break. Oh, I dropped, I dropped a bomb. It didn't go off. Don't worry. All right, let's, uh... Okay, and let's see. I can see partially what it is, and it looks ah, uh, it looks incredible. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it out safely, except for the bomb that fell off. My fault. Look at this. Look at this custom. It's this is like. A Cobra Rattler version of a World War II uh, bomber. That is incredible. Look at all of this. Look at all of that armament. And this bomb, which goes somewhere. Where did I... F oh, I found it. I found where it goes. Uh, yes. Um, this is amazing. This is a gorgeous custom. This is incredible. Um, it, look, the wings still tilt up. Look at that. Still functional. That is incredible. Yeah, that is... I don't even know what to say. That is amazing uh, custom work uh, on a vehicle. That is... Uh, I mean, I, I can sort of see how you did it, but even seeing how you did it, I don't know how you did it. That is um, uh, extremely well done. Um, and I think we had a, you were talking about a name for it. It's a, it's a double rattler is what it is. It's a double rattler. And that is awesome. Well done, Nicholas, and thank you. Thank you for your effort and thank you for sending this. That wraps it up for this month. Thank you very much to everyone who sent something in. And thank you to everyone who didn't send anything in. Uh, if you're watching the videos and you're enjoying the videos, that's all I can ask. Uh, I don't want anyone to feel obligated to send anything to me. I don't ask people to send things to me. But uh, if you do want to send something and have it featured in a video like this, uh, the P.O. Box will be on your screen right now. Uh, I am hard at work making the next G.I. Joe toy review. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and um, that's all for now. Um, thanks again. And remember, it's Cobra Convergence. So remember, only Cobra is Cobra.